Finally, God. Ah, uh, I have never made that sound before, so that was new. Anyways, hello everybody. This is Mateo and old man with a beard. And now he's, he's talking about Earth and stuff. Uh, and okay. Oh, Lunarians. So they're the people that live on the moon, and they're the ones that created the lunar whale, and they somehow lost it in the ocean. Oh, so that's where I parked my gigantic spaceship. Thank you. And now he's describing basically what's been happening throughout the entire game. Except it isn't Golbez, it is Zemus. The real bad guy, and yet Golbez still gets the spot on Dissidia. But, whatever. But, yeah, turns out that the boss that we thought was the boss is not really the boss. Uh, just like every single Final Fantasy game, except Final Fantasy VII. At, we always knew. No, 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 no. I think at one point he was... But for the most part, it they didn't drag it out for as long as they did in the other games. But, and Final Fantasy II, we always knew who the boss was. So, and you all remember when the voice was talking to us back when Cecil first became a paladin? Yeah, that was his father, so that's why I called him son as though you couldn't put two and two together, but whatever, now you're sure that it's his son, apparently Cecil is slow, and finally figured out that that's his father. And that... Well, did they tell that part yet? I don't know. Also, they have the prelude theme here, which is awesome. So, since Vasoya is a mage-type character, you want to have the two in front, three in back, and have Rydia, Rosa, and Vasoya in the back. Vasoya has some pretty nice stuff to begin with, basic mage stuff for this point in the game. And he also has access to every single spell in the game, and he doesn't have a low MP like uh, Tella does. It's still pretty low, but not nearly as low as Tella's was. So yeah, we have access to everything, basically. There's Meteor and Flare, we had Holy, Kiraja, Meteor and Flare. I'm really excited about that one. For some reason, his list starts with Totem Pig, though. I don't know why. And what do we have up here? Eight crystals. Well, then, there are a total of 16 crystals? That's a lot of crystal. Okay, and this thing is sealed. Well, we'll check that later, then. But yeah, eight crystals. All for the moon. Why does the moon get so many? I don't know. Again, there's just this crystal palace, the humming way home, and the cave there. But we also have a new enemy, and Fasoyed's dead. He has a weird death sprite. He just kind of like sits down, and his beard uh, protects him from any more damage, basically. Merlin's magic beard. This guy's kind of like Merlin, actually. But whatever. We have the dark grenade, which, like other bomb enemies, will explode. So, hooray? I don't know, just beat it up before it explodes, and that's pretty much it. All these other guys we've seen before, we got him in a back attack, though, which is pretty bad. But, yeah. Uh, we do have a water elemental. I know a couple uh, parts ago I was questioning whether there's a water elemental in this game. Well, of course there is, because Edge has his flood spell, there's a Leviathan, and... Yeah, just those two things make it possible for a water elemental. Well, there's also the enemy spell of Tsunami, but whatever. Either way, now that we've found all those, I just meet you back at the Lunar Whale. You should know where you parked it. I'm going to take a quick rest in the free inn. Why there are six of those, I don't know. We could go with just five, since we only have five people in our party at all time. But maybe there's one for Fat Chocobo. How Fat Chocobo can fit in that, I have no idea, but whatever. We're heading back to Earth. Because now that we have Fasoya, uh, stuff's going to go down once again. Why Fasoya is a trigger, I have no idea. But, yeah, stuff's going down. And, by the way, all side quests you can still do, except for Yang's whole 
knife thing with the frying pan. That ends at this point in the game, so you want to make sure you do that before this point. Just to get that super sweet knife. But, what's going on with the tower? It's a transformer! It's Megatron. No, apparently this is why the tower's been glowing. This guy. A giant. And he's blowing stuff up. I don't know, this looks a lot more menacing on the DS version. Probably because they have an actual cutscene for it, and they have like lasers going everywhere, and it's cutting across the land. And not just rings of fire, and then nothing being destroyed. I mean, there's the ring of fire, sure, but the mountain and grass is still completely fine. You're just burping, basically. That's one destructive burp, though, even though it's not destroying anything. Also, I like how we're just sitting there as we watch this thing destroy stuff. Oh. Hmm. So are we actually going to do stuff? How can we even see it in this thing? I mean, it's closed off by metallic walls. There's no windshield or anything. And we're inside of it, I think. I'm pretty sure that we're inside of it. Not just on top. Wow, okay. Uh, now the dwarves somehow got into the overworld, even though the only way into the overworld is through that hole and you need aircraft to get in there, but these are tanks. And, of course, Yang is finally well enough to fight inside of a tank, and the sylphs are there for whatever reason. And this would be the first time... No, not true, never mind, you could still find... What am I talking about? Oh well. And now the Red Wings are finally on our side because Sid somehow magically made it all the way to the over overworld and over to Baron, even though he was near dead like four times. And what the... Mm. These two were stoned and Asuna didn't heal them. What suddenly healed them? Edward, now he's walking again. What the... This game has a problem with killing off their characters and keeps on bringing them back. I mean, the twins, how did they... Ah. And the giant is extremely confused. So am I. The giant's not the only one. He's a confused antagonist. I'm a confused commentator. And then airship magically gets on Lunar Whale. And picks us all up somehow, even though we're... I don't even know. This game... And then it's going to bring us right up to the giant. In front of the giant, where it could just be like, Hadoken, and then kill us all. But no, giant doesn't do a thing. We somehow approach it. And yeah, now we're inside of the giant. So, hooray, I guess. This is the goal. And now we have to go in and destroy the giant's brain, basically. So now we're in the neck of the giant. And now we're in the chest of the giant. I hope we don't continue going downward, because I really don't want to be in the arse of the giant. Speaking of giants, it has giant soldiers within this giant. So you can have a giant while you giant, and giant while you giant, or however that meme goes. And since we got back, to back attacked, we now have to fix our rows. Uh, attack. It's weak to electricity, or thunder. Even though thunder is just a sound. It's weak to the sound. It frightens it and makes it wet the bed. And, yeah. I don't know what regen does. I don't even want to try it because it's most likely something stupid. Like, heal 20 health per 5 seconds. And you won't be able to use Fisoya. That's probably what it is. Just don't even try it. Stick with the stuff you know. Especially at this point where we haven't saved for a while. And there was that big scene. Don't try, because I don't want to re-record this. But... That should be enough. Yep, it is. And we killed it. Hooray. Did Rydia get off two fires before Fasoya got off one? Or Thundagas? Same thing. Okay, we now have Centaurians and Beamers. Well, a single Centaurian and multiple Beamers. So yeah, Beam, it's a magical spell that'll hit a certain party member for... 200, 300 damage. Centaurion's attack. Beamers are weak to electricity or thunder. And... Thunder. And Centaurion might be weak to it, I don't know. 
suggest multicast on Daga though. And just to get a little bit of extra damage on the Centaurian while also killing off the Beamers. And that's pretty much it. For these guys, nice critical hit. And yeah, once I can find Thundaga, there we go. And we're just going to hit the Beamer with that. Just because... That's a pretty devastating Centaurian physical attack. So yeah, watch out for that. Yeah, the Centaurian is weak to Thunder. Or the Beamer isn't weak. One of the two. They did the same amount of damage and it was still quite a bit, so whatever. Just stick with Thunder in this place, unless I say otherwise, and more than likely I will not say otherwise. And now we have Searcher and Mech Soldiers, both are weak to Thunder, Mech Soldiers attack, pretty hard, and Centaur- er, not Centaur, and the Searcher. It searches for you, and if it sees you, it will call another enemy, but that's only when it's alone, so kill it while it has another enemy. And once it summons the enemy, kill it first, so it doesn't summon a third one, or a second one, or whatever it might be. And that's the basic idea behind those guys. You'll probably also find a powered up version in here, I believe. But, whatever. So, it also casts Beam as a counterattack to magic. Maybe two attacks, I don't know. Have yet to try. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that guy. Once we can kill it, we'll be moving on. So basically, what we're trying to do is get to the brain of the giant to turn it off and make the giant fall over. However, we're going downwards. We started in the neck, we're now in the chest. So, um, Cecil never took anatomy, I guess? I don't know. Honestly, guessing its brain is in its stomach because it's a guy apparently. It's a male giant. I don't know. Anyway, high potion, ether, um, let's see here. Why do we have potions? Oh god. Oh well, at least it healed up the soya. We have a single. We had a hundred high potions and yet only one on its own. So, yeah, a quick healing up thing, that should be it. No, yeah, just gonna get everybody up to full. Except for Fasoya. He starts at a level 52, which is amazingly high. I mean, I think all my other party members are like 40 or so. Ah, there's a scratch in my throat. Ah, and I'm talking. Ah, this sucks. People are dead. Hooray. On the edge, though. He still has lower defense, and I'm only having him up in the front because he's kind of forced to be with the three mages. Fasoya might be able to survive a little bit, although not much. Okay, we're in the stomach, where's the brain? Well, apparently I was wrong, but oh well. Okay, Silver Apple, which increases HP by 50. We're going to give that to Rydia because her H... No, we're not. We're going to give that to Edge, apparently. That was stupid. Oh well. There's a treasure chest over there. I want Soma Drop. Nice. That's only like the second Soma Drop we found. So see, there are far and few between. Now then, Rosa or Rydia? Rosa. Okay. Now then, we can head up. If we keep... We're not very far from Inner Path. I'm guessing these are his intestines, even though he's non-organic. Okay, this is that powered up version I was talking about. Last arm. It will search somebody and do something. Ah, excuse me. So, I'm just going to try casting Reflect because I'm afraid of what it might do. Uh, we're going to hit it with Thunder Spells. What does it do? I don't know, just cast Search. Maybe I can kill it in time? Maybe it's an instant death attack. I'm imagining it's something like the trapdoor. Magnetic radiation. What did that do? No, seriously, what did that do? I mean, I reflected it, but what did it do to the thing? Ah, oh, well, we beat it, so that's another thing. We get an elixir from that fight. Well, from the chest. Same thing. And, 
yeah, there's a safe point. So if you enjoy this, rate, subscribe, comment, whatever. And once I use a cottage... Oh, in the DS version, there's a shop here for whatever reason. But, yeah. Just forget it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.